and it was just a really special moment with us. All right, emergency potty break. We picked up uh, my new book. Anders got the cutest little bow tie and tuxedo, but he doesn't want to show you guys. So we'll look at Ambry's cute outfit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to go and try on some outfit. Okay. She wants to do a whole model, model runway show, I guess. What? That is the cutest, <laughs> cutest jumper I've ever seen. Look at those ears. Piggy pocket. That is so cute. When you hug your hands in there, it looks like you have fingernails. Get out of here, kitty. Do you have a tail? Meow, meow, meow. Let me see your tail. Huh? There is no tail. No tail. That's a cute jumper, Ambry. <laughs> All right, we made it to Grandma's. Just reminiscing. Some good memories here. Mom, how's it going? We survived the jamming. What? Oh, yeah, put on your shirt. Oh, and thank you, everybody. Yes, Joanna's nice teaching my mom how to use a pressure cooker. Yeah, I've had it for two years almost. And when when were these things invented? Yeah. Seems like a good good invention. How come nobody uses them? Cooking frozen chicken in 14 minutes, is that right? Because you might board, if you open it too soon, you got beans in the top of your roof for the rest of your life. <laughs> I haven't done it. Are you gonna Have get a pressure cooker? Grandma, How about you can use it? Okay, now it's cooking. It just clipped over to the Oh, thing. okay. Wait, Wait you know, I don't get beat. what you just did then. Did you do a fake? It is Sunday night. We're on our way home from Mama O's. All right, today our lesson at church that I taught the kids was about reverence, sharing, sharing. Daisy, what did you learn at Resurrection. church today? Daisy learned about sharing? Yeah. And reverence? Yeah. What did you learn about it? Is it good or bad? Good. Did you, did you want to share anything? Uh, no. Huh? Well, I taught about the resurrection and what else? Oh, that, that Christ is our Savior. And because of what he did for us, we are saved. And that's awesome and he's the only one that could have done it for us so it was a little bit rough because I was the only one in there with the kids and they were having a kind of hard time being reverent but it was still a really good lesson and there were oh something I really wanted to talk about was Ender he kept looking over the picture of the Savior on the cross it was one of the pictures that I had for my lesson and he was just so sweet looking at it and he was just like mom what happened? Like, why, why did they hurt Jesus? Like, and I, he listened to me explaining, and he listened in sacrament. He was really reverent, and it was just a really special moment with us. With Ender. Thinking, yeah, it's the first time we really processed that picture. Yeah, he Jesus was like, they put some pokies on his head, and I was just like, yeah, it's really sad. And then he was like, oh, and I said, but it's, but we could be happy because he, he let them do that, like. That's one thing I think is important to remember with the Savior. Like, he's not the victim. He didn't. He didn't just like have this happen to him. He allowed it to happen because he loved us. He chose to do that and to allow that to happen to us, so that we could be saved. And that's that's like what's really cool about it. It's not just like he's not just someone that was attacked and hurt and killed. It was. He knew what was going on. He could have stopped it, but he chose not to. So, it's been on my mind lately. Is like, you need some attention. And they're this interrupting cow. What do you? Uh, the uh like charity and serving others that no matter what, whenever we serve other people, our, usually our intent isn't for our own personal gain, but it usually ends up being for our own, and benefiting ourselves. Like, you always grow spiritually and it always ends up doing good for you. So it's a, kind of a win-win situation whenever you um, serve, another, serve another person. That's true, I totally feel the same way. All right, and so there you go. 
Hope you guys are having a good day. Knock, knock. My kids are being silly. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Who? Oh, she got me. Bye, Daisy. Yeah. All right, emergency potty break. <laughs> no time to stop at a gas station. Daisy, don't look. Oh, we have a bloody nose. We have bloody, a bloody nose. Things just went from bad to worse. Ambry, why you have bloody nose? You okay? You're picking your nose. That's I why. I have it at all. Right. Some wipes. Uh, I don't have any. <coughs> From mom's purse. Where's some wipes? I don't have a purse. From mom's purse. All right, we got them from grandma's and Zade. We picked up uh, my new book. Let's see it, Zade. What do you think of it so far? It's in really good detail. Interesting. It's a book about my racing. It's called, what is it? Athlete Motivation. My dad put it together. And it's, it's about, it kind of tells my story of my basketball experience, what I went through in high school and overcoming tough things and becoming like the, the star of my high school pretty much. Yeah, right. Oh, I had the most historical moment of our sports oh. my year senior year of high school so um, i'll put a link to that book if you guys want to check it out it's pretty awesome and zade says it's interesting for him and that takes a lot right zade you approve two thumbs up chocolate. well yeah there's no chocolate. vanilla up there vanilla you guys right we're gonna end the vlog now there's a bit of confusion with my ice cream Apparently, so we have Joanna's special so lava cakes. There's double deucer. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making these, Joanna. Your specialty. April, any last words? I love lava cakes. Okay, she does. We're gonna watch a movie on VidAngel. If you don't know what it is, check it out. It's the best streaming service to watch movies online. Anyways, we're watching a movie. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye.